How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Empty Motor YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. I know I haven't made a video in a while and I wanted to apologize for that. I actually came into a situation where I got the uh, flu. Right? Certain words you say on YouTube gets you flagged and uh, all that. So I didn't want to trip that, but you know, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Before I go any further in the video, if you could please do me a huge favor, hit that like button. Definitely do appreciate it. And leave some comments down below on some of the content that you want to see upcoming. Um, and, you know, subscribe to the channel. Definitely do appreciate all the likes and subscribes and everything that's been coming in. Still doing the uh, 1,000 subscriber merch giveaway. Um, this channel was picking up a lot of steam until, you know, I got sick. So in terms of that, I was down for about two weeks. I was actually really sick for maybe three or four days. After that, it's been fine, but I've just been recovering and just been in my room quarantining. Now I'm fine, everything's good, so I'm going to be back to doing everything that I've been doing and get everything going. Wanted to uh, start off with saying thank you so much to uh, everybody that's been ordering parts and all that and being patient with while I, you know, recover. And I've been getting, you know, uh, anything that I've been drop shipping, great. And anything that I've been, you know, I have in the garage, thank you for being patient. Your orders have, you know, been going out and I've been updating tracking for all of you. So thank you so much for supporting. So I wanted to go over real quick, you know, have a couple parts still for sale. Have some of the M&M uh, Honda bars still. Uh, quite a few of them are already sold. This is about half of what I have left. And I also still have the Garage Unique carbon fiber front lip, rear diffuser, and rear spoiler. As you can see here, I have one set out of the packaging just to show you. It's the rear diffuser. That is the front lip for the 2016-2017 Accord and the rear, I uh, wouldn't say duckbill spoiler, but the rear spoiler. In terms of some updates with some projects, uh, the Scion TC is still sitting in the same position it is. Uh, Ruben, my friend Ruben, that does, all the, my, that does a lot of my local paint and body stuff, he's been extremely busy with life, which I get, and I told him, you know, there was no rush. And I've been communicating with him back and forth. He's going to try to get this done as soon as possible now. So he knows I want to make some progress on this and get this done. So really looking forward to him, you know, getting the paintwork done. <clears throat> Mercedes still sitting uh, with everything going on with the SEMA show this year and everything I've been busy with. This is not the biggest priority, although there's a couple more touches I want to do on this car. And obviously fix the roof and some other small stuff and you know, it'll be good to go. Now with the Lexus. Obviously it's been sitting for a minute. I apologize for the bad parking. Uh, my brother parks kind of weird. He's been using the car while I've been, you know, down and out, but the car will start seeing some progress very soon. I have a lot of parts underway and ordered. So definitely look forward to, uh, you know, working on this. And with that, you know, I'll be making a trip to LA in the very near future. So with this year, uh, with the SEMA show, working on a few cars. Some of them you know about, some of them you don't know about. Uh, let me see here. There's Huey's Genesis Coupe. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot of content on that coming soon. We kind of started on it um collecting a lot of parts still as you know with what's going on in the world there is a lot of back order and supply shortages so that's been one of those things where you know we have to uh be patient and wait for parts to show up so that's all coming in now so we're gonna start on that car soon obviously the is um a lot of the parts are actually available and ready I just have to go down to LA to pick it up. So that'll be a fun trip and show you, and uh, I'm able to show everybody out here on YouTube, you know, what parts we're putting into it and show you the quality of a lot of stuff we're doing. Uh, let me see what else. We have my friend, really good friend, Kevin Chu's uh, GTR. That's gonna be at, on display at SEMA. It is a, <coughs> excuse me, um, R35 GTR. That's currently getting wide bodied. If you've been on my social media, you've seen me post it and you could also go on his uh, social media and see the progress that he's been posting, teasers that he's been posting with the car. 
I know at a certain point he's going to stop posting uh, the final form of the car once he has everything and it'll be debuted at SEMA, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, he's thrown a lot of time and energy and money into this project, so I can't wait to see it done. And I've been happy helping him every step of the way, you know, really proud of him, of uh, him wanting to do, you know, a crazy, or the craziest build he's technically done. I mean, other cars he's had is pretty crazy, but this one he's putting more time and effort into, and he's been wanting to just really build something unique and special. So, you know, thanks, Kevin, for letting me be and m2 motor maybe be a part of your you know vision and all and dream of building your gtr and this all kind of started off as just joking around but hey you know what he's doing well in life he wants to have fun and enjoy his hobby that's more power to him and i'm always happy to help people and him and everybody else with those kind of things what other projects do we have going to sema this year um helping one of our really good friends uh steven at mod in japan he his 890 Supra is returning to SEMA. Uh, I was helping him with some of the logistics on that. I'm not sure what his plans are yet. As I find out, um, you'll know. So that'll be one of the cars going. And then, oh, uh, we have a really big project that we've been uh, doing content with, and it is uh, Steve's Honda Civic EK. That will be at SEMA. And it is in collaboration with Jada Toys. So that's one really cool project that we have. And I'll be releasing content and documented footage of the build and stuff that we've been doing over the past uh, several months. Um, some of the content is newer, some of the content's a little older, but you're gonna get to see sneak previews and parts and bits of this build. This EK build is, I wouldn't say it's the craziest build that we've ever done or the craziest Honda out there, that's not our goal. Steve's vision for the EK is to build a very, very fun track car, but a marketable track car. So currently, uh, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see in the build series. It's one of those uh, nostalgia build for him. He's always wanted a Honda Civic EK since he was in high school. It's one of his cars he's always wanted. <clears throat> because of you know how parents are and safety and all that his parents ended up he ended up in a tc which he's not signed on tc which he's not complaining about but the, EK, uh, the ek and the itr are two of the hondas that he's always wanted and the opportunity for him to, to put an ek together is here so we've been working on that and you know enjoy the footage with that in the upcoming uh videos so that that's been really cool um a lot of work being done on that car which you'll see um it'll be a marketing and kind of tour vehicle for the next year after it's done for SEMA so look pretty for a minute and then from there he's gonna go ahead and just start thrashing on it at the track and you know doing everything that his heart to his heart's content which I'm happy for him uh, for myself uh, no SEMA projects this year minus the Lexus uh, nothing too crazy I haven't I have my hands full with uh, Steve's EK build already along with everybody else's cars so I myself like this this IS build I'm really excited about I'm not saying that's not going to be anything too crazy I'm not trying to build a full-on show show car this is something that's just going to be built into a really nice daily driver and something I'm really going to enjoy but you know picked out specked out with parts and partners that I feel you know add value to the whole picture of things and this will be a really nice vehicle to get around in Some of the companies that are on board with the IS so far, just wanted to go over is obviously Mod in Japan. They've been, uh, Steven over there has been a huge help. He has put together uh, co several companies that I'm working with, which is Esprit Premier Japan. So that's gonna, it's gonna have their body kit um, and what they call third gen IS front end conversion. So really excited to put that on. Uh, CKS suspension has come on board with coilovers for this car. So thank you, John, over at CKS for uh, sponsoring the car. Definitely do uh, appreciate the opportunity to represent you and your company. And uh, obviously, M2 is a wholesale and or wholesale retail distributor of their products. Uh, who else? Oh yeah, Sony is on board with uh, car audio for this car, so we'll be building a full custom audio setup and everything. Uh, if you know my history, I love the 12 volt industry and I love good sound quality uh, audio for you know driving and all that. So I just like jamming out to music and 
all that. So looking forward to upgrading the uh, technology and audio in this car. Anybody else on board? Um, there's a couple others that are pending. I don't want to uh, get it out there just yet, but I'm really excited to get this car put together and do it fairly quick. The game plan is right now is to obviously that there's some left maintenance left to do on it, which is, you know, I can get done pretty quick. And from there, we should start going through and get everything done. But yeah, other than that, uh, that's pretty much everything going on right now. Again, thank you to everybody that's been ordering parts, uh, supporting the company and, and, and all that good stuff. Definitely do appreciate it. I look forward to putting more and more uh, content out there for you guys. I know this one's not the most exciting piece of content, but it's a lot of information and news updates with what's going on with M2, Mo M2 Motoring and myself and Steve. But uh, thank you again for tuning in. Definitely do appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And see you on the next episode.